Please, Please stand and join me for the U.S. flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Join us for this higher pledge. Today, I will try my best, imagine my possibilities, and give respect. I will be eager to learn, Realize my Lord and smile every day. Our guidance for success goes like this. Focus. Focus, Focus on, on the positive. positive. Intent. Practice positive intent. Safety. Keep, Keep it safe. safe. Hopefulness. Be helpful to others. Encouragement. You can do it. Respect. Show respect to others and myself. Good morning, Fisher Tigers. I'm excited this morning to give some prizes away from our Reading Incentive Prize Dispenser. So, let's uh, talk about Beanstack first. Beanstack is where you go in to enter your reading minutes. You can log any time you read and it will keep track of the number of minutes that you read. Now, I was gone from the school in February and March, but I was looking at those minutes and I have the top Beanstack uh, students from the month of February through March and even through April. So let's see who those students are. All of the names you see here have read over 100 minutes since February. So all of these students will be able to get a prize from our reading incentive prize dispenser. Elaine and Evamia in first grade, Sophia Moreno, Nathan, Natalie, Ariana in second grade, and then we have many, many third graders. So go ahead and look at that list of names, and if you see your name there, that means that you logged over 100 minutes since February, and you will be able to receive a prize from our reading incentive prize dispenser. Congratulations to those students and great work logging in your minutes on Beanstack. Speaking of Beanstack, we have almost reached our reading goal for the school year. If you look right here, that blue bar is almost filled all the way to the end. We're actually at 86% complete right now. Now we still have 16,022 minutes left to read in order to reach that goal, but we can do it. It seems like a lot of minutes, but really, if the school, like if all the students in the school just read one hour and logged it into Beanstack, we would reach our goal. 
In fact, we wouldn't even need all the students to do that. Um, we would just need about 277 students to read one hour. So I want to challenge, um, especially the older grades, fourth, third, second. I know we have a lot of first graders who log in Beanstack as well. But if those students can do even just one hour before the end of the school year, we will reach our goal for Beanstack. That was Beanstack. Now let's talk about AR. AR is where you go in and you take those reading quizzes to see what you remember or learned from the book. So for AR, I don't just look at your points, I also look at your scores. And I want you to get at least a 70% on those quizzes. These are our top AR students since February. So I went back in and looked from February until now who had the most points with a percentage of 70% or more. And that's Eva, Mia, Cara, and Faith from first grade. Isabella Diaz, Fatima Cruz, and Cielo from second grade. Julio, Jeremiah, and Urelli from third. And then Nicholas Sanchez, Levi, and Natalia from fourth grade. So those students will also be receiving a prize from our reading incentive prize dispenser. Remember when you do the reading incentive prize dispenser, I give you the coins, you turn the knob, and then something will pop out with a number on it. If you get the number one, you're able to choose a special bookmark. If you get the number two, you can choose some kind of eraser. We have a lot of options. Number three will get you a special UV pen. And if you get number four, you'll be able to choose a book. Now, I also have opportunities for the younger grade levels to get reading incentive prizes as well through two by two books. So earlier, like in January, we talked a lot about the two by two boot and coloring in the titles of two by two books that you've read. Some of you have been turning in your boot. Students who turn in their boot will be eligible to get a prize. That means you might not get it, but your name will go into a drawing and then I'll choose lots of names uh, for those students who complete their two by two book, uh, boot. Now you don't need to read all the titles on the boot. Kindergarten just needs to read five and color those five in that you read. First grade, your number is eight. And second grade, your number is 12. If you do read all of the books and color in everything, that's fine, but it does not give you any advantage. Your name will go into the drawing along with the other students who completed their five or their eight or their 12. If you have your boot, please make sure to bring this to the library sometime next week. I will do the drawing in May, like the first week in May. So I need these by April 29th if you have them complete. And remember, it's okay if it's not colored all the way in, as long as kindergarten you have five, first grade you have eight, and second grade you have 12 of the books colored in. We also want to make sure that you see your name, that you wrote it nice, and then write your favorite book title. I want to know which one was your favorite. So make sure to write that where it says my favorite two by two book. All right, a few more things. Overdue library books. Um, those students are getting notices that look like this. Remember at the top now, it'll say that the report cards will be held in the front office at the end of the school year if you don't find your book. So make sure to look for your book and return it, or you'll have to pay money for it. And finally, the library is closed today. I am going on the first grade field trip, so I will put the closed signs on the library doors. Please, uh, teachers, do not send students for open circulation today. Have a great Thursday. Let's take some time to breathe and center ourselves for the day. We're going to take three deep breaths and then we're going to notice the body sensations. So let's breathe in big and deep and 
hold it and then release it through your mouth. Breathe in, hold it, and breathe out. And one more time, breathing in through the nose, hold it. Now we're going to take some time to notice how the air feels when it comes into your nose. So as you breathe in through your nose, notice the feeling. You feel cool air as it goes into your nose. Notice the cool air as it goes into your nose. Right. As you breathe in, notice the And now, as you breathe out, we're going to breathe out our mouth. Breathe in through your nose, and when you breathe out your mouth, I want you to notice the body sensation of warmth. It's warm when the air comes out of your mouth. Notice how that feels up your breath. Breathe through your nose, and then and notice how warm it feels as it comes out of your mouth. Breathe out through the mouth, noticing that feeling, noticing the body sensation. And one more time, breathe in and noticing the warmth. Now, what to do? do. It's a great day to be a tiger. Bye.